Now, for the power on our relationship with Allah, when it comes to disobeying the Master, the Lord of the heavens and earth, some people have a wrong attitude, a very deceptive attitude, and that is based on their wrong expectations around the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibn al-Qayyum rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy on him, discusses that in his book, The Disease and the Cure. He discusses the false claims around this and explain the fallacies therein. Those interested in details shall check out the chapter. We will suffice with the following for this episode. He quotes the following hadith in this chapter relying on the mercy and forgiveness and generosity of Allah. He quotes the hadith that the Prophet ﷺ said, A wise man is the one who calls himself to account and refrains from doing evil deeds and does noble deeds to benefit him after death. And the foolish person is the one who subdues himself to his temptations and desires and seeks from Allah the fulfillment of his vain desires. So as you can see that the Prophet ﷺ is creating that difference and telling us the difference between the wise person who, ha who does the right deeds and has the right expectations and the person who does the wrong deeds and has false expectations from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In, in his book, Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah continues on explaining the difference between having a good opinion and being deceived. He says there, if a good opinion advocates work and action, then it is correct. However, if it recommends idleness and indulgence in sins, then it is deception. So that's a pretty good litmus test. If you have a hope, if you have an expectation, and it encourages you, it encourages you to do the right things, then that's a good hope. That's the right hope and the right hope from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if it discourages you to take actions. If it makes you lazy, it makes you idle, and it encourages you to do sins, then definitely this is a deception. And that is not the right understanding of the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now he quotes the ayah from the Quran, which can be translated as, Verily, those who have believed and those who have emigrated for Allah's religion and have a striving heart in the way of Allah all these hope for Allah's mercy. So the ones who are truly hoping for Allah's mercy are the ones with these characteristics. That they truly believe in Allah and they leave the sins, they leave condition and places that incite them to do sins and they go to places where they have the ability to obey Allah. And they do their best, they strive hard, they, they work hard, they are patient and they strive hard to, for the pleasure of Allah. These are the ones who actually hope the mercy of Allah.